why this query is not working? Why it is not possible for me to select more columns from my table than defined in my group by? Why it is not possible for me to filter group data using where? Why I should use having instead of where? I have a simple query. I have defined alias, but it is not possible for me to use defined alias for the second time. Why? In my query, I have alias and I want to use this alias in my where clause, but it is not possible to use it. But I see that the where comes after select, but it should be possible for me to use already defined alias in where, but it is not possible. And at the end, everything is working for order by. It is possible for me to use already defined alias in order by. Why? If you are struggling with these type of questions, then you have come to the right place. Welcome and welcome again to my Decode Bytes YouTube channel. And in this tutorial, I'm going to talk about logical query processing. Why? Because I think this is one of the fundamental and important topic. It doesn't matter what type of dialects you are using. You can use PostgreSQL, TransactSQL, MySQL. This is applicable for all type of databases. And unfortunately, I couldn't find this topic in many SQL books, but I think this is one of the fundamental topics you should learn before diving into details of SQL. So let's get started. And as always, we are going to start with theory. We'll understand logical and physical query processing. In theory, I will explain all the things you need to know about it. We'll not dive into more details, but this will be enough for you to learn and to answer all the questions we asked. And of course, we'll talk about it in practice. Okay, let's talk about query processing itself. I will explain this topic from the transact SQL perspective, but in general, the idea is applicable for all other type of SQL dialects. There are actually minor differences, but the whole idea is same for other types of dialects also. In SQL, we have two types of query execution. We have logical query execution, physical query execution. The logical query execution, in short, LQP, we have another synonym called the conceptual interpretation of the query. The logical query processing is actually what you want. So in, for the logical query execution, we have what a client should retrieve. The logical query processing answers to the question, what? What do you want as a client? What is the correct result of the query? For the physical query execution on the other side, we have imperative language, logical query processing, we're using declarative language, and we answer the question, what? And for the physical query processing, it uses imperative language and answers to the question, how so for the logical query processing what you want for the physical query processing how do you want to get the data that you want okay the the result of physical query processing should exactly match the result of logical query processing this is really important let me explain topic in more detail compared with architectural style and architectural pattern examples we already know that we have architectural style and architectural patterns. For the one architectural style, it is possible to have more than one architectural patterns. The logical query processing in this case is architectural style. Okay, so we have one implementation of this architectural style called physical query processing through database engine. So physical query processing answers to the question how how to implement it to get the exact result defined by logical query processing. This is the final idea behind this processing stuff. Okay. Let's short talk about physical query processing, the physical query processing done by database engine. It defines how to get what you want and physical query processing actually can apply optimization. 
only if the result of this optimization will exactly match the result of logical query processing. It means physical query processing can rearrange the steps of logical query processing. We'll talk about the steps of logical query processing and it is possible for physical query processing to remove even these steps only if the result of this query will match the result of logical query processing. We have this type of processing order. We have from, where, group by, having, select, order by, offset, fetch. This is our logical query processing. You are writing the query in physical query processing order. For the physical query, we have select from, where, group by, having, order by, offset, fetch. Okay. In this case, you can compare it like this. You can remember this like this. You will just take this select from here and move before from. So in this case, you will get physical query processing. I think it is enough theory and let's learn everything in practice. We will talk about logical query processing, applying mechanism to our queries. And also we will answer all the questions we asked before. Let's use AdventureWorks database here. If you want to follow me along and uh, the, write the exact queries I wrote here, then you should install AdventureWorks 2019 that I'm going to provide the link below in my YouTube video. And also you can use any other databases you want. And if you want, you can create your own database, fill some dummy data and go ahead. For now, I'm using AdventureWorks 2019. Let's run this and we are now in AdventureWorks 2019. I am going to use select from sales, oh, sorry, select from sales dot sales order detail as let's provide alias here and let's use sub dot unit price the sad dot carrier tracking number and of course sad dot unit unit price discount from this table and the first example here is going to be select with group by right now in my select i have three columns but I want to group only two of them, okay? Group by, let's just not to type and copy and paste, okay? For a unit price and carrier tracking number. And let's run it. Of course, it will not work. And we have the message here that this unit price discount that we are not going to provide in our group by is invalid in the select list because it is not contained in either aggregate function or the group by closure. I will not provide the um, uh, aggregate mechanism here. We are just working with columns itself. Okay. Now, why this query is not working why i should follow the instructions here that i should provide columns in a group by and it is possible for me to select the columns from the group by list in my case if i will add the comment here let's do it this way this query will work but when i provide one more column here unit price discount that doesn't exist in our group by it is not working let me explain it i've created a diagram for you this is our logical query processing order we have from where group by having select order by okay and the uh, truth be told in this list, we have more elements, but right now we are focusing only these six important clauses. So I have from where in this case, every statement, every clause here has input and 
output. When you provide your table, when you type select from x, this x is going to be as an input for your from, okay? And we always have output from our statement. For the from statement, we have all the columns from the table, in our case, as an output, okay? And the output of this statement is going to be input for the next statement. This is really important. This output is exactly match this input. This output will match this input. This output is same as this input, okay? Right now, in my case, in my query, I have from sales order detail. I am not going to show you inner join or other type of complex stuff. So we have only one from table. So we have one input to our table, to our from statement, and we have output as a virtual table from this clause. Okay. And for the where, we have all the rows from this statement and you can filter out some rows and then you have filtered data as an input to your group by and you have output as a grouped result in my case check this out i have two columns for now till here i have all the columns okay but group by define that I want to take only these two columns and group them. Did you get the idea? So we have two columns here and the next statements like having select will see only these two columns. This is really important. So for the group I will have output as a two columns as two columns here, and we're not typing having, it means the select will get only these two columns. When it reaches to the select, it means we have only two columns and it is not possible for select to get more than two columns. This is the real reason behind this query. This is why this query is not working let me just comment it out and run it this will work cool now let's talk about the different issue here i want to use where is my group by cool now let's do it i'm just removing this one from here and for the group by i want to apply where saw that um unit price let's do it this in this way um, let's check the carrier tracking number count and take only if the count is greater than one. I want to execute this query. This query is not working. So let's try to understand the real reason behind this process. Why it is not possible for us to provide where at the filter and we need to use having. Let's check it. Let's go to our diagram. In our diagram, we have the exact flow of operations for the logical query processing. In our logical query processing, where at the statement at the clause will be executed before group by. So group by will see the result of where, and when it reaches to the group by, you cannot filter the result of group by using where because it was already executed before group by. For that reason, we have a special statement called having, and you should use having for your group data filtration. Let's go for it and let's type having and let's run it and voila, everything is working. Let's move to the next question. We have uh, alias in our select. Let's create it as price for the unit price. I have provided the price. It is 
working without any issue. The problem here is I want to use the already provided alias for the second time. It means the price uh, multiplied by two as total price. This is my price, okay? But this query is not working. Why this query is not working? The problem here is when you run your query in your logical query processing step, we have all at once execution per statement. It means, for example, in your select, you may provide 10,000 columns, but they will be implemented, evaluated at the same time. This is really important. It means we don't have ordering from left to right or right to left to uh, determine the aliases. Like in programming, when you provide this type of expressions, when you evaluate them, you have, for example, price, and it is possible for you to do some additional operations on price. But in our case, in SQL, we have all in once evaluation, and it doesn't allow us to provide the same alias twice to be used in SQL queries. The other issue here is actually when you want to use your alias from the where statement. Okay, let me show you from where price is greater than 1000. Why this query is not working? In my execution, physical execution, I see that we have first defined our select, then I am using it in my where. It means it should be visible for where. But from the logical query processing perspective, your where will be executed before your select. This is really important. It means when your where executes, there is no select, there is no alias. So it is not possible for your where statement to see the alias defined by select. In this case, you should use some additional operation to wrap it up, not to use the exact price. So you should just use the unit price here so that unit price and remove this one and let's run it well everything is working let's move to the last question and it is about order by why it is possible for us to see the aliases defined by select in our order by let me type it the order by price. This price is our alias and it is possible for me to use this price in our order by. Let's see the real reason behind this operation. This is completely same as in our previous examples. In our case, in a logical query execution, we have select before order by. It means when select as a statement evaluates some data, this data is going to be our virtual table information. This is our output. And this output is going to be the input of input for our order by. It means when select defines some alias, this alias will be visible from our order by statement.